With a sudden change in mannerism and a few muttered words, the thing taking on Shuji Akutsuki's appearance crumbles. Behind the melting figure stands another person who had not been there a moment ago. He appears to be a young man around the same age as Yukon and his friends. What appears to be Yasugami High uniform that's tied around his waist. What could this mean? Is he another student at this school? A pair of scars crosses his face and he smirks while toying with the two swords he carries at his waist. Who are you? So everybody connected to Kuijo's here, huh? The looks on your faces are hilarious! You talk the big talk, but deep down, you were totally freaking out over old Ikutsuki chan <laughs> I couldn't see your faces in person last time, though. You remember, don't you? It was when I took control of that scrap like the puppet it is. <laughs> you were behind the abduction of Lapras then. Yeah, it was a crazy performance, huh? That weapon took a lot of whipping. <laughs> Uh, you need an introduction or something? My name's Sho. Sho me Nazuki, and I'm behind all this. Welcome to my world, Kirito Lackies. Sho me Nazuki? Sho me Nazuki. That name sounds familiar. It was in the day that Kiyono-san gave me before we descended on this town. A name from Shuji Kuski's files. Seems this young man has a connection to Ergo Research after all. What is the meaning of this? What are you setting us all up like this for? Huh? What are you whining about, you little shit? I was letting you have some fun. It's a little entertainment. Oh, uh, I guess I do have a score to settle with you. Akutsuki was my dad after all. Dad? That's impossible. You're lying. He didn't have any kids. Doesn't matter. I'm still gonna kill you all. The young man draws his swords and the light glints off of them. His eyes gleam with glee, the mania of madness. So this man, he's the one behind this entire case. Toying with people and hurting them like this. What are you trying to accomplish? Huh? I've had enough. If you're hurting from your dad being killed, I get that. But is this the only way you can deal with it? Labrys. Suicide's people are risking their lives to try to end this tragedy themselves. They're doing their best to take responsibility for what happened. And I already know that your Ikutsuki guy lied to Mitsuru-san, betrayed them, and... Shut up, you goddamn puppet! <laughs> you never even met him, so enough with your shit! Or what? You gonna lecture me like you're a real person? What a joke. You bastard! But don't get the wrong idea now. I already told you that I don't give two shits about Akutsuki. He used me and threw me away, that asshole. <sighs> it doesn't matter. See, all you bastards are in my way. Every single living thing is in my way. Every goddamn thing. What? What are you talking about? That's just insane. <laughs> I'm insane. It's this world that's insane. All this bullshit about the power of friendship and close bonds and whatever. It's a pile of garbage. Trash! Bastards, die! Just go away forever, goddammit! I'll get rid of every last one of you. I'll annihilate you along with this entire world! My heart hurts. I wonder why. I sense the resonance of the Queen of Dusk from the young man. And it's giving off emotion. Hatred? No. Sadness? He wants the, he wants the world. But at the same time rejects it. The intense mixture of solitude, the despair and yearning. I I felt this. What? You know this emotion. Labrys? It's he doesn't truly hate the world. What he really feels is Labrys on, look out! <laughs> Koromarasan tackles me and I fall sideways. A giant knife is vibrating in the floor where I had been standing only seconds ago. Don't say another word, you failure. <gasps> Ugh, what a drag. I'm tired of this. Well, I've already got enough persona fragments anyway. Persona fragments? Wait, do you mean... Persona fragments? 
Those are the same words General Teddy used earlier. The young man calling himself the mastermind behind all of this. The fakes whose sole purpose was to fight us. The flakes of light emerging from the defeated shadows. All of those now make sense to me. Most likely the rest of us are feeling the same way. Sho was gathering persona fragments by making us fight our doubles. The moment we all reach that conclusion, Sho pulls out a small box and holds it before us. So it's time to get the real show started. Here's a question for you. What do you think this is? That's... Is that the remote Akutsuki was using when he controlled Igis? No. Stop him! Too late. Activating the anti-shadow suppression weapon. Labrys! I feel a sudden snap within me. Suddenly, I lose control over my entire body. At the same time, my consciousness begins to fade, as if I'm being painted over by something else. <coughs> it's that internal device that took over my body and forced me to hurt the others, just like the other day. It gnaws at me, gnaws at my mechanical body, and all my self-control begins to slip away. Labrys! stick a device in it or anything to do this <laughs> a weapon is there to be controlled so of course there's a remote control it's been built into that thing from the very beginning <laughs> I told you I'd destroy everything right friendship what a joke one push of a button and it all means nothing sister please pull yourself together <gasps> I scream internally at myself. Stop, but my arm swings my axe at Igis and sends her flying away. Igis! Now! <laughs> you just won't die, will you? That's not good enough! Damn it! Kuromaru-san leaps at Sho and tries to snatch the box away from him. Yukun and his friends follow, but Sho deals with them all with a single strike. This boy is strong. <laughs> Not one of you's coming to help, huh? You couldn't anyway. My remote controller's more of a remote controller. <laughs> Kidding! Now, Lapras. Kill the scion of Kirijo first. <laughs> you specialize in tearing apart your companions, right? Cho jumps back to a safe distance, then sends me an order to do just that. My legs move against my will and send me towards the crucified Mitsuru son. No! He manipulates the small box again with a raucous laugh. The power restraining me intensifies, and I can feel myself slipping away against the torrent of commands blasting into my mind. The blade of my axe is against the cross that Suicide is bound to. Stop! 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 Please! No! Uh, Labrys! Damn it, you son of a bitch! I'll blast your consciousness into nothing. So hurry up and tell them! An even more forceful command overtakes me. Mitsuru-san, Yukun, Kenkun, Yukari, Chie, everyone. I try desperately to hold out onto my thoughts, but it's mercifully torn away. I lose all feelings of the weight of my axe in my hands, and my vision begins to waver. I'm going to destroy those I hold dear again. The last thing I see through my fading consciousness is Yukun. I don't want to feel this way ever again. I don't want to give up. I won't. And just like that, a sound rings out and darkness envelops me. Did my consciousness shut off? No. 
Even in the darkness, I'm still awake. <laughs> Whose voice is that? I hear a familiar laugh in the distance. I can't see who it is, but I know that voice. A heart? What a way now! Just like always. You're the other me. That's right. I am you. I'm the you within yourself that you keep a lid on. I become terribly confused in the darkness. My shadow, that existence that should have melted away and became a part of me when I accepted it. She stands before me, looking exactly the same as she did before. <laughs> I don't think you really understand. Well, I'm a good mood, so I'll make an exception and tell you. Your body is special. You have two memory banks. One for yourself. Another, a black box that would allow you to absorb the memories of the other Lauras units when you killed them and took their name. It was such a surprise. Thanks to that, even after I became one with you, my personality was preserved in it. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. It is pounding with the resonations of the plume of dust. She gazes upwards with an ecstatic expression. Then looks to me and seductively licks her lips. I've been waiting all this time for your will to weaken. And now? Now this body is finally mine! What? It's about time you ended this. Believe in your friends? Look where that got you. Am I right? Don't you hate him? Don't you want to destroy him? Enough of this bullshit about bonds and camaraderie. All you have to do is destroy everything. Put that gigantic axe on your back to use! <laughs>